Okay, folks. I really didn't want to have to do this kind of video, but let's see if we can get some conversation going here. Um, this is a response to Deuces Are Wild 85. And uh, I want to make sure I got that right. Uh, yeah, it, Deuces Are Wild 85. I'll leave a link down below. Um, and she's talking about how the uh, American Jobs Act would be so good. And she sent me a link to the link. And, well, it's from the White House. It is the actual link. And supposedly this is this is going to man this is giving me a headache. Um, answer my questions. I got a lot of debate on this one, and I'm going to go through it bit by bit. Okay. Part one. Tax cuts to help America's small business businesses hire and grow. Cutting the payroll tax in half for 98 percent of businesses. The president's plan will cut in half the taxes paid by businesses on their first five million in payroll targeting the benefit to the 98 percent of firms that have payroll below this threshold. A complete payroll tax holiday for added workers or increased wages. Uh, the president will completely eliminate payroll taxes for firms that increase their payroll by adding new workers or increasing the wages of their current worker. The benefit is capped at the first 50 million in payroll increases. Extending 100% expensing into 2012. This continues an, an effective incentive for new investment. Reforms and regulatory reg, uh, reductions to help entrepreneurs and small businesses access capital. You know, okay, that's good. Okay. Part two, putting workers back on the job while rebuilding and modernizing America. This is where I start getting the, the, the stick in my throat. A returning heroes hiring tax credit for veterans. This provides tax credits from 5600 to 9600 to encourage the hiring of unemployed veterans. We got people that have been out of work for two years. There's no work. Okay. Preventing up to 280,000 teacher layoffs while keeping cops and firefighters on the job. Okay, that's spending. Modernizing at least 35,000 public schools across the country, supporting new science labs, internet ready classrooms, yada yada yada. More spending. Immediate investments in infrastructure and bipartisan national infrastructure bank. Modernizing our roads, rails, airports. Again, we're spending money. A new project rebuild, which will put people to work rehabilitating homes, businesses, communities, yada, yada, yada. Again, spending money. Expanding access to high-speed wireless as a part of a plan for freeing up the nation's spectrum. Again, we're spending. Okay. Pathways back to work for Americans looking for jobs. The most innovative reform to the unemployment insurance program in 40 years as a Part of an extension of unemployment insurance to prevent 5 million Americans looking for work from losing their benefits. 
The president's plan includes innovative works based reforms to prevent layoffs and give states greater flexibility to use UI funds to best support job seekers, including work sharing and a new bridge to work. Again, this is requiring funding, money. A $4,000 tax credit to employers for hiring long-term unemployed workers. Okay, well, now we're taking away from taxes, which supplies funding for these programs he wants. Prohibiting employers from discriminating against unemployed workers. In my business, I don't discriminate unless you come in looking like crud. If you want a job and we're hiring, just come in looking presentable. You don't even have to be dressed in suit and tie and all that. Just be clean. In some cases, at least take a shower that morning. Expanding job opportunities for low-income youth and adults through a fund for successful f approaches for subsidized employment, innovative training programs, and summer year-round jobs for youth. Okay, who's doing the hiring? And why aren't these long-term unemployed workers working there? I... It, it, it's making no sense to me. Please explain to me. Uh, tax relief for every American worker and family. Again, you're taking away funds. Fully paid for as part of the president's long-term deficit reduction program. <clears throat> to ensure that the American Jobs Act is fully paid for, the president will call on the Joint Committee to come up with additional deficit reduction necessary to pay for the act and shall meet its deficit target. Again, okay, where is this money coming from? The only quick access to any monies is through 401ks and different various retirement plans shutting down Social Security. I, it's not ex telling me anything. I'm, I'm sorry. Where is this money coming from? Are we cutting defense? Are we bringing our troops home? Great. Do it. We're not. Then where the fuck's it coming from? I, I, somebody explained this to me like I was a five-year-old because I'm quite dumb to this new economic theory. Down in the crotch bar, I'll leave a, a link to Danielle's channel. People, if you're not subscribed to her, watch her. Give her some respect. She's a good, she's a good people. She's got a good heart. She's got a good spirit. She's got a good mind. But let's just have a peaceful dialogue about this. Where is it coming from? Where are the reductions coming from? I'll leave a link down below to the site she sent me to. You can read it for yourself. But 
Where's the funding coming from? Deficit reduction. What are you reducing? If you're making smaller government, bringing our troops home, hey, I'm all for it. As far as our troops, we can keep them busy for a bit longer along the borders. We can't keep borrowing. The well's dried up. Peace out all.